Hey guys, welcome to Layman Smart. My name is Vishal and for the very first video, I've got something really exciting to share with you. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been fascinated by telescopes and lately I've been doing a decent amount of research and I've been flirting with the idea of buying one. So basically telescopes comes in all shapes and sizes and it really depends upon what you what you want to look through a telescope and what kind of budget you're working with. And while deciding on buying a telescope, it really boils down to two main things. One is its light gathering power, which is its aperture. And for those of you who are familiar with the concept of photography would know about it. And its focal length, which is basically uh, how much it can magnify. After doing all that research, I finally decided to buy one and I'm getting one delivered very soon. So we'll be going through its unboxing, we'll set it up and hopefully we'll be able to take some good amateur shots out of it. So strap on guys, we'll try to venture into the horizons of our solar system. Hey man. Yep. Thank you so much for the delivery bro. So yep, finally got the telescope delivered. We'll be doing an unboxing of it during the night time. This is about 15 kgs. Right, so this big gun right here is the main tube and this is a Newtonian reflector telescope. So what that means is that at the end of it, there's a, there's a primary mirror and we should be able to see some here, somewhere, yep. And that kind of reflects the light here onto the secondary mirror, which is, which draws down the light and the eyepiece too for the viewing angle. So let's pop this up on the mount here and we should be ready to do the polar alignments after that. We rolling? Yep. Right, with our very first telescope, as an amateur astronomer, we want to bring it out in the backyard and point it to the biggest celestial object in the night sky, the moon of course, and observe some crazy amount of details on that beautiful lunar surface. Eventually, we would want to look at the planets and galaxies and other faint objects in the night sky. So in order to easily do that, we need to polar align the telescope. So what is polar alignment? When we look up, all the planets, sun and the stars seem to be moving across the sky. However, we know that it's not, it's not the stars which are moving, it's the rotation of the Earth which gives us an illusion of that movement. If you observe for long enough or if you take a long exposure photo, you'll see that there's a point in the sky which doesn't seem to be moving. And it depends upon what part of the hemisphere you're at. Since I'm filming this in Australia, it'll be the South Celestial Pole which does not move. In polar alignment, we match the axis of our telescope parallel to the Earth's axis of rotation, which means pointing the telescope to the South Celestial Pole. So this allows us to counter the effect of Earth's movement by rotating the telescope in the opposite direction. All right, guys, so we've got the telescope set up. It's almost dusk now, and even the cicadas are making noises. I'll be using an app called Starwalk to locate the planets, and hopefully I'll be able to take some good quality videos to share with you guys. So catch you guys soon.
Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.